title down on the next blank page. How do I compare to fraction? All right, once you got that title down, I want you to circle the word compare. What does that word compare mean? Look, we're definitely going to need to know what compare means if we're going to be comparing. What does that word compare mean? Avery, what does compare mean? Compare means like, so let's say I have an apple and an orange. Mm -hmm. I could see it maybe on a scale. For example, we can compare in many different ways. But we can see like which one's orange. Maybe compare to see which one's more greener. Which what you're seeing, what the boundary within that. Okay. So I want to add on to Avery's thoughts. What does it mean to compare? Go for it, Addison. Like to me, like like so. Nope. I don't need an example. I need a definition. Connor. So I'm hearing a couple of words in, I think, what Avery was trying to explain and what Connor was explaining. We hear language like more versus less. So in Connor's example, we could really tell, okay, well, which one weighed more? Which one was more? We're going to be using words like more or less. We're also, we're going to add on to that versus equal. Because sometimes the things we compare are not more or less. They're actually just equal. So we have three options, Addison, when we are comparing something might be more, something might be less, or those two things just might be equal. Jordan? Um, when you compare, you're looking at um, two things, two or more things, differences, and um, similarities. I love that. I hear Jordan is telling us we're looking for differences. Similarities. I'll give you some seconds to write those two words. I know they're longer words. But yeah, when we're comparing things, we're definitely looking for similarities or differences. We've actually done some comparing before. We've done that already. Think back to when we first started looking at could we compare pizzas. I think it was Ava, not Ava, maybe it was Ava, I don't remember. Somebody and I were eating pizzas, but we were talking about pull, how maybe one of us had a small pizza and someone had a large pizza. Were we able to compare those two amounts? No. Were we? Archer? No. No, because one is way smaller because it was small and one was huge. Yeah, so something we have to consider and think about when we're comparing, Rogan, we have to compare the same thing. I cannot say Maverick and I are going to have an eating contest and I get a little tiny pizza and Maverick gets a huge pizza. It would not be fair if I say I'm the winner because I ate the whole thing and Maverick only ate half of it. That would not be fair because we're not comparing the same thing. Giant letters. B. Half. Two. Compare. Same. Oops, I forgot I was doing giant letters. Same. 
and I should have eight. I'll count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got Mikey's cut up, and Casey's cut up into eight pieces. All right, let's see how much they ate. Well, how many pieces did they eat? It helps that right in the part, first part of this problem. So if you're not sure, you should probably be looking at the problem. Where's how much did they eat? Four. They each ate four pieces. So I'm going to start with Mikey. Marley, what were we counting by with Marky? Six. Count with me as we jump. Ready? One, six. Two, six. Three, six. Four, six. That's my four pieces. Four, six of that orange. Does that make sense how we did that? Yeah. All right. We know that Casey also ate four pieces. Eight. We're counting by eights. Let's count by eights on Casey's. Ready? One eight, two eights, three eights, four eights. There's his four pieces. There's his Now they both ate four pieces. But what are we noticing? <laughs> they both ate four pieces. We counted them. But what are we noticing? What do you want to be noticing? We can't compare because our Mikey's pieces are a lot bigger than Casey's. We can compare because the holes are the same. Oh, no. Each size can be all kinds of prices. Maybe. But we have to start out with Maybe. the same amount. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So what else are we noticing now that we've cut up these uh, oranges and gave everybody four pieces? Jordan, what are we noticing? Um, does he have more pieces than Casey? Well, no, he has um, a, a more... Yeah, 
Yeah, Mikey ate more of the whole thing. Look at how much orange Mikey has left versus Casey. We know Mikey ate more of the orange, and you know why. He ate more because even though they had four pieces each, he had bigger size pieces. Does that make sense? Casey had smaller size pieces. Yeah. Brogan, who ate more of the orange? Um, Mikey. Mikey, go ahead and fill that in if you haven't already. All right. We are going to do part of the task together. And I'm going to have you finish it by yourself. So if your math notebook can go away, I'm going to go ahead and give you the task that we're going to be which, uh, give it if you would please put your name on it. You're going to do part of it together, and then you're going to finish the rest of it by yourself. All right. We've got four friends, and they're eating a granola bar. They each have their own granola bar. Each granola bar, that's a say what number, was the same size. Is that important to know? Yes. 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 Why is that piece of information important? That each granola bar was the same size. Callie, why is that important? Because it wasn't the same size and it wasn't the same. Exactly. Now, they're going to break them up differently, but they all started out the same. So far, so good? All right. In that little chart, we've got our four friends. We've got Missy, Janaya, Frank, and Carlos. And then we have the amount that they ate. Raise your hand and tell me how much of that granola bar did Missy eat? I should see every single hand because it's written on the smart board and it's in front of you. Not a trick question. Paxton, how much did Missy eat? Four, six. Four, six. How much did Janaya eat? Penelope? Four, eight. How much did Frank eat? Ava? Six, eight. How much did Carlos eat? Emma? Two thirds. This is not a question, but I want you to think for a second. Think in your head, who do you think ate the most? Just by looking at that, who do you think ate the most? Maverick, what are you thinking? Probably Frank. Do you think Frank ate the most? Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Because, um, I'm looking at the numerator and um and he looks like he um has like a bigger number. He does like have the most pieces, that's true, but can you ignore the denominator? Um no. 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 Because he oh, that's hard. Alright, so Maverick's noticing great notice. But hey, we know that Frank ate the most pieces because that numerator is six. That was probably important. Ava? I'm thinking um, either Carlos or Miss, Missy. Okay, maybe Carlos or Missy. Why are you thinking that? Because the less you split it up, the, the bigger the pieces are. You hear that, genius? Yeah. Do you hear it? Uh -huh. So Carla, or sorry, Ava thinks maybe Carlos or Missy because yeah, they maybe didn't eat as many pieces, but Ava knows that denominator of three means those pieces aren't really big. So maybe it's one of them. The directions on our paper says, show how much each friend ate on the number line below. You have a number line already drawn for each person. What do you notice about those number lines? They're already on your paper. What do you notice about those number lines? Addison? Yeah. 
Bowen? Um, that they're all the same size. They are all the same size. Why do you think that is? Why are all those number lines the same size? You go ahead, Bowen. Do you know why they're all the same size? Because they all ate the same granola bar. They had that same size granola bar at the start. Did they eat it the same way? No. No, but it all started out the same way. I had to draw my number lines. We've got Missy, Janaya, Frank, Carlos. Let's talk about Missy first. What do I need to do to Missy's number line? Emma, what do I need to do to Missy's number line? How did you know I needed to split it up into six equal parts? ahead of me. How many jumps do I need to do, Colby? How did you know that? Oh. You're correct, Colby, but how did you know that? Tells us our pieces. Let's go four halves. Ready? Count with me. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six. There's four, six. Let's talk about Janaya. What do I need to do for Janaya's? Janaya? Janaya's Janaya? What do I need to do for Janaya's? Janaya, excuse me. Number line. Do I split it into four? I mean, eight. You split it into eight. That denominator tells us that. Can eight be split in half equally? Yeah. Yes. I've got four on each side. Can four be split in half equally? Yeah. Yes. yes. Now I can split two in half again. Okay. What's up? No. We are supposed to hop on that number line four spaces. How did you know we're hopping on that number line four spaces, Ava? Because the numerator is four. Beautiful. Numerator is four. Count with me. Ready? One. Yeah, that numerator tells us that. Yeah. 
sound clip. Let's count. Ready? One, eight. Good. Two. Just a little bit. <laughs> so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Right. 